done an unboxing video. I haven't done a video in a long, long time, so um, this will be fun. So I am um, opening up an order that I just placed. It's the first order I've placed in a while. I've already opened it. And then with tape and stuff, so I'm just going to open it up and get to it. We've got lots of boring stuff. So I'm going to move this back over, actually. Okay, so we have um, stamp and seal. I got, actually, a lot of them because I want to get back into class making or class hosting. Um, and I like to have each of my guests to be able to have their own open stuff. So we've got all of those. I'm going to be terrible to just throw things on the floor. This is our birthday kit. So we have, uh, okay, it's called a birthday card organizer kit. And it comes with this, some cards, some instructions. Let me get some scissors. So it looks to me like it's a little bit paper pumpkin esque in that it has your pieces, your embellishments, it has envelopes. These are really pretty. They have pretty little designs. These are card fronts. And these, so yes, very paper pumpkin esque in that um, you just put it out and make it. Here's some little, I'm assuming these are stickers. So. Languages. Um, it's your day. This might go to the cards. This, I'm assuming, is some cards for the cards. All right. And then and this is, is our organizer. And so it would be this would be whatever month you wanted to start, start on. on. Um, and you would go through each month. And you can list each birthday or anniversary, um, whatever is happening, Happy. and then you can cards, stick them in there, and that way when you flip to the month, you are ready to go. So that's super cool. Okay, so let me, um, here's everything that comes in here, all of the components, and again, the front, and then step-by-step -step instructions. So it is very paper pumpkin-esque in that um, it's all step-by-step -step and pretty much done for you. You just need um, some adhesive. That doesn't look like you'll need too much because they have supplied some, and, um, Scissors. We'll need scissors. Thank you. All right. So, and it comes in this cute little box. box. How cute is that? Yeah, me too. Okay. Over here we have stamp and blend storage. So I just needed more storage for some of my stamp and blends. Um, I didn't have enough storage to begin with, and I ordered more with this order yesterday. In a little bit. Okay, so these are the feet that go to the bottom of the storage, unless you are doing what I'm doing, which is, okay, so here are the storage books that I already have, I'm using those markers currently. So if you, um, if this is brand new to you, you would put the feet on the bottom here, um, but since this isn't brand new to me, I'm just going to go ahead and stack this right on top here, and then it just leaves this really lovely stackable storage situation. Um, so as you can see, I already had one too many, and then we went ahead and ordered more. So Ellie's pulling out. So these are our stamp and blends. This is what will go in my storage. You do buy them in a two pack. Um, I got the pumpkin pie. We got um, dark saffron. Well, soft saffron, both dark and light. Um, Highland heather. Dark and light. And pulling out the blue. So 
those come in two packs. You always get the light and the dark with them. Um, and I have some fun Halloween projects that I'll be doing with these. So that's why I got these colors. Um, I thought I had one more color, maybe. Did I have any more in there? All right, well, this might be all I have. These are, this is like my Halloween color. color. Yes, this is like my color card. So, super cute. Uh, I'll be showing you those fun projects later. Okay, and then we got, got some um, liquid blue. Like I said, I'm getting back into posting classes, so I just needed some basics, some snips. Um, I got a bunch. Like I said, I'd like to have all of my class guests have kind of their own supplies to use. I put them all in a really cute little cup like this. Um, and I put in here what I think you should always have when So scissors, bone folder, a pen, and your um, the to take your picture. It helps with a lot of different stuff. So, and then I do like to keep liquid blue in there. So that's what all of those are. And phone folders, like I said, those are an essential. I do like to put them in the cup for my class guests also. Um, so that goes up. Okay. Now, this is the fun stuff. Okay. So I'm going to try to kind of figure out a little bit. Basic like note cards and envelopes. That is what I ordered. I don't think that's what I meant to order. I think I meant to order envelopes, but here we are. Okay, I ordered basic white note cards and envelopes, so that's that. Okay, these are the three stamp sets that I got this time. I got Caroling Mice. This is a hostess stamp set, so you do have to meet a purchase a minimum requirement in order to be able to purchase this one. Best Witches stamp set. Um, this does not come with any die cuts or this is a standalone stamp set. And um, Kindness Gnomes. There's an entire suite for this one, so I'm going to set it off a little bit so that we can um, talk about that all together. Okay, so I did get an embossing folder. It's a gingham embossing folder. I'm a sucker for gingham and plaid, so I couldn't not order that. All right, and then this goes with gnomes, matte black dots. I'm using these in some Halloween projects I've got coming up. This is Snowfall Accent Puff Paint. I believe that's also part of the suite for the gnomes. So let me pull out the gnomes and I'll show ya. Alright, here's what goes with gnomes. One second, let me grab my stickers. I want to open this so that we can flip through the pages. Alright, so this is 12 by 12 but gnome paper, and it's double-sided, so on one side we've got all of these really fun holiday prints to use, little houses, snowflakes, and then you can see, if I can find it right, these fun patterns on the front side. I love the color palette for this. Alright, and then it comes with five sparkle adhesive back gems. So it matches, coordinates with the color palette. We have this um, ribbon. Give me a second to open this ribbon. Alright, so this is double stitch ribbon in balmy blue. Shine to it, but not not anything that would make me call it shimmer. Okay, and then we have these gnome dies, and I'm gonna open them for a second. Um, okay, kindness gnomes. This is a rubber um, stamp set, plain stamp set. So, um, as always with our stamp sets, you will need clear blocks in order to be able to um, use them and get nice clean images from them. They also coordinate with. These die cuts. So cute. And 
I wanted to show you something really fun and really cool with these die cuts. So, here's one. You would stamp this, color it in, and then this would, well, I think it's just like so. It would fit over it like that, and then you could cut out that image. There's also the little gnome guys. There's a beard, so you can have a 3D effect. Um, but I thought another thing that is really fun is that this paper, look at that, I could just cut out a little gnome on the paper and it would be complete and set. Um, and then also with, where did those these houses? So I'll flip this over and then same thing. So if you didn't want to stamp and color, um, you just wanted to use one of these, you could go ahead and so that's really cool. That coordinates that. I love when, when our I paper. That one is cute. Um, but I love when our paper coordinates with the dies um, because it makes your project even simpler. If you have um, a great idea and maybe you're short on time, um, being able to use our DSP as die cuts is amazing. And last but not least is this snowfall accent. I believe this is also part of that. Those are all of those things. I'm gonna clear this off really quick to make more room. All right, and then over here we have an embossing edition. Okay, I love embossing. Embossing is the coolest thing ever, in my opinion. Embossing, I should say. So this is just a little kit to help with the heat embossing process. So. So you would stamp your image using some um, using this Versamark. So you would stamp your image with Versamark. You would pour this powder. We have gold, silver, clear. Um, you would pour it over. So typically, you kind of just pour it over and then you do your best to get as much back into the containers. So this embossing um, buddy will actually help with this process. As you can see, you can untwist this. So you would have it closed, you do your embossing, you would shake it all off, and then you could just pour this right back into your uh, embossing container, which is super helpful. And then and also, there is an embossing buddy. So when you are embossing, um, your paper may have um, some static to it or maybe a little bit of um, oils or fingerprints or something from touching it. So you would rub this over your paper so that you get a really good image when you stamp with your first um, So that's that. A brush so that you can get the excess powder that you don't want on your image. Because when you heat emboss, whether the powder is adhered or not, it does melt. So the brush helps get off some of that stray powder. And um, fancy tweezers. Um, done to heat and busk, it's really hot, so having tweezers or something to hold that image while you're busking is very helpful. All right, so that is our heat and busking toolkit. Let me put the lid. Okay, and then we've got these craft gift boxes. Yeah, I got two packs of them. So, so we've got this here, and it's already um, like pre-folded and all that good stuff. So you're just gonna bend it like so, where it's already scored for you. It actually even already has a t-shirt on there um, so that you can just quickly put it together. So I'll just do this one really quick on camera because it looks like they're that. pretty quick and easy.
One more, and then we're done. Okay, like that. And so then we will have a cute little card box. You can put <laughs> cookies, treats, whatever you want in there. Decorate the front. Super cute. Okay, so that's that. This is so strong. All right, let's see what else we have. Okay, we have... I meant to order. I wanted regular white card stock, but I got this. It's what I got. So I will use this. So I'll keep it. Anytime you order something that you didn't mean to, you are more than welcome to call uh, Stampin' Up Support and exchange the item. You do have to pay the shipping on the item. Um, I'm not going to do that with these because I will use them. Um, I'll just have to place another order for what I meant to order. Um, but you are always more than welcome to and have your item exchanged. All right, and this is some um, Celebrate Everything DSP. This DSP is also a hostess item, so you have to um, meet a purchase minimum in order to be able to add this to your order. You basically have to qualify for hostess rewards. It's been a while since I've done this, guys, so um, I have to, like, rush up and remember all, all the things to remember. But this paper pack is gigantic. It's really thick. Excuse my nail polish. Okay, so it's super thick, um, and it is what it says. It's paper for every season. So here we have some holiday paper. Maybe some 4th of July, summer, more holiday. Maybe maybe some Halloween, some Father's Day, some fall. Here's more Halloween. This is really pretty. Oh, I love those leaves. Those leaves are really pretty. Some fireworks. Those. We always love those. Here. So there you go. Super cute, super pretty. All right. That's all I ordered this time around. And I am off to go place an order for the things I meant to order. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.